Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, we are here in Tours, France, and uh, this is the owner of a really awesome restaurant called Tahina. George. George. <laughs> Josh. George. 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 <laughs> For uh, clarification. And uh, I, ate, I ate at his restaurant last night with my friends and family, and I really enjoyed the stuff. I got to talking to him a little bit, and I just wanted to do a quick interview and uh, see how he got to uh, be running a vegan restaurant and you know what it's like being in a French culture and uh, being in a French culture that's so saturated with uh, meat and dairy in the, the, the in the fiber of the, uh, yeah of everything gastronomy and uh, and also just his inspiration so I guess we'll start off with uh, what inspires you to start a vegan restaurant in fact, it just uh, at the outset, it was was my um, my will to change my life. I mean, I, I I used to be on the IT industry before. I changed my life. The IT industry? Yes, I used to work on the IT industry, in the uh, banking transformation. And uh, when I had uh, more than fifty years old, I. I um, wanted to stop taking the planes and to travel for my previous job mm -hmm. and why I, do, I just wanted to change my life and um, and um, at the beginning I wanted I I thought I would start a vegetarian restaurant mm -hmm. and by the end when we finished I mean the, the menu the plates um, we took took the position for a vegan restaurant rather than a vegetarian restaurant. Um, um, was, there, was there a reason choosing vegan over vegetarian? Uh, it's a, I mean, it's a just of uh, a question of intuition or, okay. uh, I mean, um, the plates allowed me to do this and it's a, just a question of uh, uh, marketing or position uh, to, to other, um, to compare to other restaurants in 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 France, um, because you have now some vegetarian restaurants, and we wanted to launch a new concept regarding yeah. the vegan, the fully yeah. vegan uh, and, uh, cuisine, and it which is really new in France. Yeah, it's very yeah. very new in France because we don't have the experience and uh, you know the background uh, in like other countries. You know. Yeah, and, and it probably also helps you stand out a lot. Um, you know, it sta you stand out from a standard restaurant. If someone's searching on Google um, and they're looking for vegan, yeah. um, if you're a vegetarian, you'd blend in with everyone else. Yeah, but sure. now that you're vegan, yeah. you stand out. Yeah. Um, so, like, what's the, what's the experience been like? You have, you all been open for 14 months. Um, it's amazing. It's, I mean, uh, our restaurant, it's, we can observe a lot of changing the way of life of many people here in France mm -hmm. and which is amazing we have the position position vegan and people may be oh vegan no yeah. but we have a lot of um, um, ordinary people I mean people eating meat mm -hmm. uh, pe or, uh, I mean how would you call it? in France we do omnivores, omnivores. Yeah. omnivores. actually omnivores. on that carnivore or omnivore yeah, and on that note, something I th I find that's really awesome about the uh, the vegan uh, business model right now mm -hmm. is, um, say, I went to his restaurant with a group of eight people, and I was the only vegan. And the reason we chose a vegan restaurant yes. was because of me. So one one person brought in seven additional people. Exactly, and uh, this is the, really the case. A vegetarian or vegan big, uh, person uh, can, uh, I mean, uh, influence or uh, you know, I would be um, the group want to. Mm -hmm make you happy and all, all of them come to the vegan restaurant we are the only vegan restaurant in, on, in the town and which um, which, is, which is amazing uh, is that we are we we selected a lot of dishes plates uh, goo uh, taste uh, attracting also other people yeah. and people are trying to eat less you know to to move from meat from you know yeah uh, to, 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 to go to I mean, other way to uh, to vegan or to vegetarian uh, cuisine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's really, really uh, impressive. It I didn't expect that when I started. You know, it was just a test. Yeah. And this is really very successful. Awesome. Even in France. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I went, I went there last night, and almost every seat, every seat was uh, full, and and I can say the food was amazing. The food was super good. Um, it's more like a Lebanese, like uh, inspired. Like, yeah. And, uh, yes, we are inspired because you know the idea is also is to start this concept in France and to promote the same concept on other country, in other um, cities in France, uh, even in Europe. And um, we selected some dishes, um, Lebanese inspired, because it's very easy uh, to export. It's very yeah. easy to to make to to make it at home. But we don't have only Lebanese food. We have also other um, other dishes, other uh, other spe speciality. Yes, uh, um, specials, specials. Yeah. Um, did, I think I saw like y'all had a lentil burger. Like yeah, yeah the, like some type of a burger. Yes, we have a, bur a vegetal burger. We have um, a kind of um, voyage vegan, voyage yes, vegan, yeah. which uh, yeah. which uh, oh, the steak. which means the same yeah. the same steak mm -hmm. uh, burger uh, is separate from the bread, you know. And we have a nice dish, nice presentation. And we have uh, nuggets. We have uh, uh, boulette de sarrasin. I don't know how to translate this. The sarrasin. Mm. So it's uh, very yeah. not. It's uh, okay. I, it's, yeah. uh, it's you know, but it's very very nice. But the thing is, we we elaborated some dishes, some many plates, mm -hmm. and we presented very well. Yes. it's very yeah. nice to see, yeah. and we have the taste. Mm -hmm. So this is what what what's really attracting people, and not only vegan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All my uh, everyone I brought with me really liked it. Um, and uh, what? So, I guess um, the the success success you've seen like so far. I guess moving towards the future. It sounds like you want to franchise and expand as much as possible. Not really franchise, you know. I don't. I don't. I do not do do this for money. In fact, right. I, I, okay. if, if I have some money, okay. But I do it because it's my last job, and uh, I wanted to create something before yeah, before being legacy. retired. You know. Yeah. It's my. I mean my. Passion, uh, passion, entrepreneur, 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 chef, and all. I want to, to, I wanted to start something before you know. Uh, and um, the thing is, um, yes, it's uh, um, to, to, to promote the concept uh, and um, to participate in this change. You yes, know, yes. To be the, the the first restaurant, the first franchise or a concept, yeah. and to develop to other cities, and, you know. Yeah, and that's this would be very, very, very nice to me, very successful. Yeah, you know? and that's honestly that's something that's very, uh, very inspiring to me because I, um, um, being so involved in the community and in Florida, I'm involved with some like activism mm -hmm. type stuff mm -hmm. and. And this is something I see is like there, there's there's a need for people creating solutions, um, and solutions in the form of restaurants because um, you know so many people are focused on um, raising the awareness around like the lifestyle and the reasons like the the good reasons for the change, but there's um, there there's a need for more people to create. Uh, you know, businesses to support all these people who are yes, sure. adopting the new yeah. lifestyle. What's uh, it's a really very hard job, really, yeah. Because I used to be in other, you know, I have I have other jobs. The restaurant, the restaurant is a really very hard job, and it's not easy to to maintain. But the thing is, you have a lot of people engaged and coming. Thank you when they say thank you for for uh, doing this. This is uh, you know very. Challenging, very motivating. Yeah. You know what I'm, uh, you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's Keeps it's really interesting, yeah. yeah. And you maintain them um, to to keep the force, you know, to go forward. Um, it's amazing. And so people are looking for that, so it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely very inspiring to me because I want to do something similar um, mm -hmm. uh, in America. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess uh, one last question would be: Do you, did you have a background in in uh, gastronomy? Or, uh, no, no, no. In fact, I, um, I just imagined I have been, uh, I think, um, uh, visiting um, Israel, or I don't know. I used to travel a lot, you know, mm -hmm. in Israel, in uh, in the Middle East, and in other countries. Um, 
uh, and um, I um, I selected a plate. Um, I love very much falafel. In fact, mm -hmm. it's my yeah, favorite. Delicious, place. yeah. I like I like this. And for the at the outset, my um, I my wish was to create a falafel restaurant, which mm -hmm. really began really. I mean, yeah. it's very easy to eat and it's not expensive for a fast food of falafel. This is the first idea when I traveled uh, many years ago. But, I mean, two years ago, um, I, I developed the idea, that, you know, I changed my mind and uh, just, just an opportunity, um, I collected some information and um, uh, and, and I selected the food very simple to elaborate to, to, to prepare mm -hmm. not very I mean we don't depend of a chef to expand it to go quickly and um, it's here it's very hard to have a chef you know uh, people not, do not want to work hard in cuisine mm -hmm. you know to, so the idea is you and me you can t go to the to the kitchen and you can prepare. Right. I mean, you do not depend on one of one person to prepare the plates, and yeah. it's a kind of liberty. And this is the concept. The idea is it's the plates we can prepare easily, mm -hmm. and you don't have a lot of training to prepare that. Yeah, yeah. it's not really really gastronomy. It's um, uh, it's the kind of a fast food. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it depending on, on uh, the restaurant, we have a cozy place, so you can have a meal there. But it's not really a very, very complicated cuisine. Yeah. This is the concept, this is the idea. Cool. So it's not, we are, I have been trained for two days only yeah. to start. Then we developed progressively the offer, yeah. and now we have a lot of propositions. The thing is, we don't have a background about the vegan cuisine. It's a new, new, yeah. new, a cool, um, new thing. You now. said you had training. Huh? You said you had training. Yeah, mm. we, we we train a new. I mean, oh, you train mm. people in two days. Yeah, got it. Ma, ma, yeah. For myself, I have been trained for two three days, mm. and to start the first. I mean the first. Uh, I mean the first. Uh, uh, restaurant. A restaurant. Yeah. Um, then uh, six months later, we added two, three new plates, and we we discover progressively this cuisine. And some of our customers help us also to have some ideas as well. You Very know cool. what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a just yeah. um, it's a it's a, a collab 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 collaboration yeah. collaboration. Yeah. yeah. Yep, um, I totally get it. My friends I came with, they actually own a coffee shop mm. back in Florida, mm. and I, I've witnessed that myself, um, mm. especially when you're like a small mm. small business starting off. It's really important to take in ideas from the community and, yeah. and you know collaborate. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I know I know that you've got to get back to work, and yeah. I don't want to take no, up too no, much no time. Problem. But you know, in, um, in fact, uh, I have, um, to be frank with you, I am very close to some vegan friends here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean we. I have a lot of vegan coming to the restaurant, and um, and um, it's a small community here. And Maxime is a friend of mine, and I asked him some advices regarding a new concept. I mean, okay, we have a vegan restaurant, but we have we can make a new version with vegetarian restaurant. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. to, to have a more large audience, but. I don't know. I mean, we are starting this. Yeah. this uh, uh, I, I'm not really. Um, I'm not really very aware about the evolution in France and yeah. how things will move. Yeah. Mm. I mean, from from my perspective, it seems it seems good to to stick with just the vegan because yeah. by if you a vegetarian, you exclude you exclude all of the vegan. The vegan, yeah. yeah. So it's this is this is the big issue. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, I but, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have less choice in terms of offering for customers. You know, anyway, uh, this is things we are thinking about for uh, not for the, for this restaurant or for this concept or for another vegetarian concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Well, uh, thank you 
for taking the time. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's been really great. I've, uh, I'm personally like, really inspired by your story, and mm -hmm. I, think it's, I think it's awesome what you're doing. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to anyone um, in the vegan world, or <laughs> maybe, um, I don't know, thinking about doing something similar? or? Many thanks. Many thanks for you. I'm very honored that you visited our yeah. store. And we have a lot of Americans, you know, coming. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very impressive. Imp uh, impressed by the, um, all this, you know, trend overseas, America, Europe, and all this society changing. It's really amazing. Really amazing. Anyway, many thanks. Yeah, well, thank you for the time, man. Thank you very yeah. much.